We have some lingering rain showers still in the forecast tonight. Thankfully, most of that activity is going to be more isolated in nature, so we'll get right to future cast. And you can see that activity. Still a few scattered showers out there for the next couple of hours, but again, more isolated in nature even than scattered. We'll hold on to that cloud cover, though. So we're looking at a cloudy night. Temperature is going to be staying fairly mild thanks to that cloud cover in place. We'll only see an overnight low down to 56 degrees. Again, with those isolated showers, not going to be much in the way of accumulation. If anything, many locations have stayed below a quarter of an inch of rainfall today. That's definitely some good news because we don't need any more rain. Winds tonight out of the northeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. So it is going to be breezy, but if you like some cool air at night, it'll be a good night to keep your windows open because I think we'll see mostly in the way of cloud cover rather than those showers. So you should be safe to have your windows open. Now, as we look ahead into the week, we're going to see those temperatures warming back up as we get into next week. And we're actually going to see our coolest day of the next seven tomorrow. That's when we're still going to have our temperatures 10 degrees below where they should be. We should be in the middle 70s for our daytime highs. But as we get into the end of the week, we're going to see those temperatures climbing up into the 70s. And by the weekend, back into the 80s and almost 10 degrees above average by the time we get into Sunday. But again, for tomorrow, the cloud cover going to be keeping us cooler than where we should be for this time of year. 59 at 9 a.m. up to 61 by lunchtime. Our daytime highs will actually come in the evening as we'll see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Again, I don't think we're going to see clouds throughout the entire day, maybe a few peaks of sunshine. And if we do, that'll help our temperatures climb up closer to the 70 degree mark. But this cloud covers all thanks to tropical storm Arthur that's kind of blocked all the weather patterns across the United States. And that finally got the precipitation out of here today, but the cloud cover going to be holding on for us for tomorrow. And then finally, we have our holiday storm chances back in the forecast. So we're going to be dry through the end of the week, but as we get into the weekend, those rain chances are going to be picking back up. Plenty of sunshine to finish out the week, though Friday looks beautiful, partly sunny highs in the mid 70s. And if you like it even warmer, you can see those highs in the 80s by the time we get into Saturday. I took the chance for storms out of the forecast for Saturday, but they are in the forecast for Sunday and Monday. Not going to be widespread, though. We'll have more of the pop up variety of showers and thunderstorms both Sunday and Monday because kind of more of a summertime weather pattern setting up with those temperatures in the 80 and more humidity. We're going to see those chances for showers be more scattered in nature, mostly in the afternoon too. So not all day washouts for the weekend if you have any plans for the holiday weekend, but you want to keep the rain gear handy as we head into the weekend. For more news and weather, be sure to visit our website at weiu.net or join us again tomorrow night here on the area's only local newscast on PBS.